Hi Cancer, welcome to a new reading. Cancer, this is a pentagram spread that I'm going to do for you, something that ha I haven't done in a while. So let's get started here, Cancer, and let's see what's going on. So this spread is about you, Cancer, in this right moment. Something that you are dealing with, going through, or is about to happen to you. And we'll see um, also blockages in your life what is it that you need to change to adapt to uh, learn from a situation um, and of course the outcome so first of all i will start with a few oracle cards for you here cancer the first card is the health card which um, is coming with the message take care of your health it's very important to take care of yourself in all the ways uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, it's so important, uh, Cancer. Also, um, you need to forgive someone. You have the forgiveness card, which is coming uh, with the message, you need to forgive someone, not because, um, not because they deserve, because of you, because you need to take care of yourself. If there is something on your soul uh, weighing down on you uh, and it's because of a specific person, situation in your life, then make peace with that. Forgive for yourself. Forgiveness doesn't mean you delete whatever they did to you, you, you just or pretend that hasn't happened. Forgiveness is that moment when you just stop thinking about that situation when you stop giving your energy your um, um, time your thoughts towards that specific situation that's forgiveness cancer and looks like it's important like you to um, <clears throat> to do this for uh, your health and also you have the acceptance card here um, this is a card which is telling you you need to understand that sometimes we cannot change people or we cannot change certain situations is not everything under your control cancer so just you know accept this that it may come in your life situations when you just cannot help someone to see the truth when you cannot make someone to understand um, maybe you see well what you see but if they don't want to see they wouldn't, you cannot force that so accept this all right don't eat yourself up um, blaming yourself or thinking that maybe you haven't done everything maybe it was so much more that you could have done no just just let it go okay just let it go so let's get started here with your pentagram and let's see what the cards will show us, Cancer. So let's start first with you, Cancer, right now. Whoa, the tower card was here. Look at this. The tower card is here. I won't take it because it was a big crowd. A lot of cards were um, coming out. So you cancer right now you need to rest I will tell you more in a in a moment okay so cancer looks like it's the best time like you to take a break from something someone is the best time like you to um, to retreat, to rest, to to think about something, to analyze a situation in your life, to see um, maybe to readjust your uh, your plans. Um, I'm not saying to don't give up to your plans, but maybe there are some changes there that you can uh, make to make things easier for yourself. So 
looks like it's time to take care of yourself. Um, it's time to um, to be a priority in your own life, okay? You may uh, uh, be that kind of person who is very focused on home, family, um, on taking care of everyone and everything, but what about yourself? So in the center of your reading, you have two cards here showing me that you need to rest, you need to take care of yourself, um, you need to make a priority out of yourself. You should be the, the priority right now, okay, in your life. Um, you see, this is your challenge. Your challenge is that to actually see that you, you need attention to. You may have kids. If you have kids, cancer... Uh, looks like you are a working parent, you you maybe do so many things in a daily basis, but what about yourself? You don't uh, give yourself enough attention. Um, looks like um, you have this... Um, some of you, I get more messages here. Some of you, you have this... Um, worry to don't fail so because of this you may have this tendency of of um of giving giving a lot to your family to uh, your home uh, you do more than necessary sometimes just because you want to make sure everything is perfect and that you are not a failure that you are you know uh they see you do your best Others of you, again, we come to the forgiveness card here. I feel like your biggest challenge here uh, is how to reconcile with someone, uh, how to um, ask for forgiveness. You want someone to forgive you. You want to reconcile. You want to... Um, you have some regrets. There was something here going on, uh, some sort of disagreement or conflict, and you regret the way things ended. And this is something like, is something that you wish to solve. Okay? Let's move to your next card here, which is, there might be someone around you, Cancer, that is talking, talking in your mind, uh, is talking to your ear. This person um, is making you confused. And uh, like whenever you decide something, this person uh, comes and tells you something and just changes uh, your mind. Um, it's like you need to... You need to be more decisive in your own life. Um, if you want to, um, if you want to feel like you do something, like you accomplish something in this life, uh, Cancer, it's time to be more in control, and don't let others driving your life. Don't give the, the driver's seat in, in your car for nobody. You should be there and you should make your own decisions, okay? Because you may have some ideas, you may want to invest in something, you may want to make some changes to, um, you have a vision. But are people in, in your environment that have a different opinion and it looks like they're doing their best to keep you from uh, evolving, from progressing, from actually doing something with your life. So if this is the case, stop listening to them and be more in control of your life. Okay? In your mind, you feel like, yes, you are definitely out of control. The Wheel of Fortune reverse here showing that um 
like it's just bad luck it's just things are not going um, as you expected so what you can do is to um, again take care of yourself and start to understand where you put too much of your energy and you know readjust because you don't have bad luck you just made some bad choices and that's a different story so you missed some opportunities but you see it's not everything as bad as you may feel it's just it's a matter of choice this is all i can hear for you it's a choice everything is a choice we it's you cannot blame nobody it's a choice you made some choices and now you feel like you have bad luck but you don't have bad luck also um have this self-confidence <laughs> believe in yourself because you are someone meant to be in the spotlight like people people are admiring you for something that you do something that you achieve um you you are so um capable and you will maybe create something you have a passion you are um good at something and you should um believe more in yourself okay believe more in yourself and um make next choices that you are going to take um make sure that you um take in consideration what is it that you truly want to accomplish in your life all right so be that be that um, lovely and nurturing person with yourself this time because cancer your reading here is screaming like you need to be the most important person in your life you may have family kids husband all the things but you should be the most important because if you are good then you can take care of them and everything else but if you are miserable you cannot right sooner or later you feel overwhelmed and you don't want to find yourself in a situation uh where you just right you don't feel good you feel um it's bad to live with this feeling of missing opportunities after opportunities uh, because you made some sacrifices that maybe no nah, wasn't necessary so let me grab one more card for you here king of swords king of swords is saying head over heart right like um you need to to think things through um from all perspectives okay so it's a time of analyzing it's a time of gaining that mental clarity and taking the leadership okay this is what you need my dear cancer so in this reading cancer i really hope um you understood the message this is about you finally focusing on yourself and what you want to achieve in this life and this doesn't mean you are selfish it's it's important to take care of yourself and your reading here is telling you to yes be a priority in your own life because everyone everything is a priority in your life but not you <clears throat> so your message from your angels is the relationship card and it's saying this way your primary relationship <laughs> you guys i cannot make this up so look 
please listen. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows you from there. To attract, heal or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So Cancer, what can I say more? This is the confirmation of your reading here. As I fell from the first cards, it's all about you, this reading. You taking care of yourself. The relationship with yourself is the most important, as this card is saying here. So that is why I use all these decks, because, because of this, to show you that everything happens for a reason. So if you found this reading, definitely was something that you need to hear. So take care of yourself, Cancer. You are the most important person in your life. You are wonderful. Take care of yourself. I send you all my love. I wish you all the best. And I hope to see you soon with a new reading. Bye, Cancer. Love and light.